everyone and welcome back to my channel it's Danny and today's video I'm going to show you how to make this super beautiful um, sleeping bag it's a really beautiful project I'm so happy of how this project turned out I really enjoyed every step of this project and as you can see I used different colors and I don't know it's just beautiful I put in here some wooden buttons and I really really liked it and this sleeping bag it's meant to be for a newborn baby but I made it a little bit longer so it can fit my niece when she is mm, not just a newborn but like four to five months and yes you will have all the details all the final measurements on my blog remember the link it's in the description box below and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and if you want to learn how to make this super beautiful sleeping bag keep watching the video for this project i'm going to be using five balls of these um, red heart soft essentials this is a category 5 bulky yarn um, and it's 100% acrylic and the ball comes with um, 120 meters 141 grams and it recommends in here to use a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook and this is the one I'm going to be using so I'm also gonna need the crochet hook so this is the one 6.5 millimeters also you're gonna need your scissors a tapestry needle and some buttons in here I have these wooden ones you can use whatever you like whatever you prefer or whatever you have there so to begin we're going to start with a slip knot and this is how I like to make mine and we're gonna start with the foundation chain and for this project or for this particular stitch that I'm going to be using you need an even number so in this case I'm going to be making 40 so chain 40 or the amount of stitch that you need for the width of your sleeping bag as I mentioned before all the final measurements are going to be on my blog I will leave the link in the description box below so just now keep making your foundation chain so in here I have my 40 chains and now we're going to single crochet in the first second third in the fourth chain from the hook this is the same no matter what numbers of chain you did and now for the next stitch it's going to be double crochet and it's as simple as this next is a single crochet and next one double crochet this um, uh, stitch doesn't have a name or at least that's what my book said it's called just textured stitch <laughs> so just keep doing this all the way until you finish this first row here I have the two last stitches so the second last it will be a double crochet and the last one will be a single crochet and this it's going to be in every single row you will have to finish with a single crochet no matter what <laughs> so for the next row we are going to start with uh, chain three turn your work and this chain it will count as the first stitch so this will be the first double crochet so this is why we don't make the next stitch in this very first stitch we're gonna skip that one and single crochet in the next one in here so single crochet and this is how we're gonna start every single row the second the next stitch is a double crochet and the next one it will be a single crochet and this is the sequence we have to do and as you can notice we are making the double crochet 
over the single crochet from the last row and vice versa the single crochet it's over the double crochet we did in the last row so that's how you can notice that you are doing a good job and that you're doing um, the stitch properly so basically keep doing this all the way down until you complete this row number two and in here I have my two last sti stitches so the second last one it's a double crochet and the last one that we will make it just right here it's a single crochet so remember every single row we're going to finish with a single crochet and for the next row chain three that will be your first double crochet and now turn your work and single crochet in the next stitch and basically we are going to be doing this all the way along until you reach the length of your um, sleeping bag that you need or you can change the colors like I did and then you can do that until you complete the length that you need. In here I did four rows with this pearl color, I think it's called Biscuit. And now I'm gonna change the color and to do this, as you guys can see in here, this is the last stitch, so it's the single crochet. And if I wanna close the single crochet, I will do this, but because I wanna change the color, I'm going to close that single crochet with the new color, which in this case is this super pretty pink so just finish that single crochet with the new color and now just chain three and start your new your new uh, row again and basically this is what we are going to be doing um, until you reach the length of your sleeping bag and in this case I'm going to be doing 124 centimeters that's a meter and 24 centimeters and why I did this because my knees measures um, 48 centimeters so I wanted to make 50 centimeters and so per side it will be a total of 100 centimeters plus the hoodie that it's another 24 centimeters so this is how I got that size so again if you have a bigger baby and you need to make it longer you can just do more rows and if you want it wider you can just uh, make your foundation chain a little bit bigger and this is all we have to do for now it's a giant and super long rectangle so keep doing this until you reach the numbers of rows that you need to finish so in here i have my 124 centimeters and of course if you change your colors as much as I did you will have to wave in those ends and I like to do it with this metal tapestry needle because I think it helps me better when I'm waving in those ends of course you can avoid this step if you didn't change the colors so you don't have to be waving these ends but if you did so you are gonna have to do this cut that little tail and as you guys can see in here I waved in all my ends every single one and this is how it should be looking now in here we have this uh, pink tail which is the one we are going to start with the border but for the hoodie we are going to use this other end and what we're gonna do is just put those parts together and I'm gonna use in here a stitch marker to help me just close that little, that little part there so it doesn't move 
And now grab your tapestry needle and a piece of yarn that it's the same color than this part. And now we are just going to sew the hoodie. And I'm just going to do a simple stitch. This is nothing fancy. We're just going to close that top and don't worry about how are you gonna do this because this stitch doesn't have a wrong or right side so then we're just gonna uh, flip the hoodie inside out and we're going to have the nice part outside so just keep doing this and sew that top When you're done just wave in those ends this is how it should be looking from the outside and yes now just wave in those ends and now we are ready to start the border of this beautiful sleeping bag Okay, so this is your main piece. This is how it should be looking. So now if we close it like this, we have pretty much the sleeping bag ready, but now we have to do the border, like I said. So what we are gonna do is start from this part where is the, the tail that we have. And we're gonna go all the way here, all the way to the side. We're gonna pass for the hoodie and then to the other side all the way down and then all the way up until here again so it's going to be a very long row but trust me it's going to be beautiful okay so I will make the border with this dark gray color so we join the new color and now we chain one turn your work and I'm gonna work all this row with single crochet and the entire border it's going to be with single crochet you can make it with half double crochet or double crochet but i think with the simple one it's beautiful <laughs> so keep single crochet all the way down until you reach the first corner so in here where the first corner is I will single crochet three together and this is how the corner is gonna be perfect and round so you can then keep working on the side with no problem and now we have to work in here this is the side of the sleeping bag in here you can see the um, rows that you did so basically in here it's going to be easier for me because I have colors so I can see how many rows of that color I did so in here I did three colors or three rows of the pink one so I have to make three single crochet in this part and now for the next color I think I did four rows of that color so I will have to make four single crochet so it's as simple as that just make one single crochet per row that you did don't make more don't make less just one single crochet per every single row and this is why I say that if you make your sleeping bag with different colors it's going to be helpful for you because you're gonna know how many rows of that color you did 
or otherwise you can just count the total amount of rows that you did and just make the same amount um, for the side and so just keep doing this all the way around and all the way down until you reach your hoodie and you're gonna do the same for the hoodie and then for the other side down here until you get to the other uh, corner <laughs> in here I'm in the last corner so we're gonna do the same thing single crochet three together so this is how we're gonna create the corners of each row and when you're done just join that row with a slip stitch for row number two chain one and then single crochet all the way around again like I said this will be a very long row and just in this part I used almost a full skein of yarn so in here we have the corner again and right here where we did the three single crochet together it's where we are going to do it again so find the middle stitch of those three and right there you're going to single crochet three again and this is how we're gonna do it for every single row in case you do I don't know five six seven rows that's up to you and now I'm gonna keep single crochet all the way along until I finish row number two For row number three, are going to be making the button holes. So now we're gonna grab the buttons and I'm going to place them where I want them to be. So I'm gonna put some in here. And basically this is where you have to be playing with your buttons and see where you want them to be in both, that, in both sides. And once you have them ready now I'm gonna be placing these stitch markers so I know where do I have to make the buttonholes and do the same in the other side of your sleeping bag And to make that buttonhole, the only thing you have to do is in here where you have the stitch marker, take it out. And depend of the size of your button is if you are gonna leave one chain or two or three. In, in here, I will chain one, two, and then skip two stitches and single crochet in the third one and that's how I created the buttonhole. So keep doing these all the way down and do the same process for every single stitch marker that you have. And as you guys can see in here, my button passed through the hole, so that's a good sign. So keep doing these, single crochet, and when you reach the second stitch marker, it's where you are going to make the second buttonhole and take the stitch marker out, put it aside and now chain two and skip two. 
and of course if your button is smaller you can just chain one and skip one if your button is bigger you guys understand what I what I'm trying to say so keep doing this all the way down and and in the other side of your sleeping bag as well So now I'm in row number four and I have to pass through this part which is where I made the buttonhole. So what I'm gonna do in here is single crochet two in that hole. Just pass your hook, yarn, yarn over and single crochet one and then again. And now I'm ready to go and you have to do this in every single buttonhole that you have if you did three single crochets uh, or, or three chains you have to do th three single crochet and like that so keep doing this all the way and in here I just finished I did um, two more rows after row number four row number five with just single crochet and then I did one more with slip stitch and now you just have to sew the buttons to your sleeping bag and basically that's it that's how uh, your sleeping bag it's done I really really enjoyed making these and you can see the stitch it's very textury but it's so beautiful and so easy and yes I just love it so so much and now like I said I just have to put the buttons in my sleeping bag it's completed so thank you guys so so much for watching this video if it was helpful helpful and if you liked it please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel and remember that every single part of this step-by-step uh, -step, the reading pattern the final measurements all the materials everything that you need to know to make this it's going to be on my blog so if you want to make this project on the go somewhere you have all the instructions there I will leave the link in the description box below and in the first comment as well so yeah, uh, don't forget to follow me on social media. I, I have Facebook and Instagram. And I really, really, really hope you guys loved this project as much as I did. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!